Okay. Hello from my bathroom. This is my first live on Facebook. I'm super nervous, but here we go. Okay. Today's challenge is checking your cervical mucus. So today I want you to spend the day checking your cervical mucus and then report back here and tell us about your experience. Spend the day? That's right. The first thing you need to know about checking your cervical mucus is that you have to do it all day long. It's not just a one-time thing. So, super easy. What you gotta do is first grab some toilet paper. Because you're already wiping every single time you pee, right? So you simply have to go from wiping to consciously wiping, where you observe your toilet paper before and after you use the bathroom each time. So the first thing you're going to do is fold your toilet paper into a square. This is just so that you can see your cervical mucus really easy. So no more wiping your vulva with this crunched up mm, toilet paper anymore. Folded, flat pieces of squares. And then the first thing you do is, again, ooh, pro tip, fold your square before you take off your pants or lift your skirt, and that will remind you to check your cervical mucus before you go to the bathroom. So we have our folded piece of square. Wipe across your perineum from the front to back. Your perineum is the space between the entrance of your vagina and your anus. And as you wipe, I want you to ask yourself, what sensation did I feel? Dry is when you can feel the toilet papers across your perineum. Lubricative is when you wipe and it's really slippery. Maybe your elbow even slips and hits the back seat of the toilet. And smooth is somewhere in between. You want to decide the sensation before looking at the tissue. Then go ahead and observe your toilet paper if you see anything. You might look wet, it might look dry, it might look shiny, or you might be able to pick something up. So you want to go ahead and try that. And if you pick something up, that's cervical mucus. Then take a look at it and stretch it between your finger and your thumb and ask yourself, what color is it? Is it clear, cloudy, kind of cloudy, kind of clear? Maybe it's yellow, maybe it's a little pink or brown. And stretch it between your fingers and see, does it stretch half an inch, three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch or more? And then what you're going to do is pee or poo, do what you gotta do, and then check again. Then you make a mental note of your observations, or if it's super handy, store them onto your bone. And at the end of the day, I want you to come back here and tell us your experience. So what was challenging for you? What was easy for you? Mm, did you see anything on your toilet paper? How did you feel when you wiped? What sensation did you feel? Did you have no problem finger testing the stuff you found on your paper? Or maybe you didn't feel so great. You can still do this if you're on hormonal contraceptives. But remember that you're probably not going to see anything because part of why hormonal contraceptives work is they dry up your cervix. They dry up your cervical mucus. And cervical mucus is a hydrogel that comes from your cervix as your estrogen levels begin to rise. This is how we know you're about to ovulate. But it's still a good idea to get into the habit of practicing soft before and after you go. And that's the acronym we use to remember this. S stands for sensation, O stands for observation, and FT stands for finger test. And finger testing your cervical mucus, checking for your cervical mucus every day, is the first step, is your first habit to becoming fertility aware. Cervical mucus alone, when you know how to observe it, chart it, and interpret it, will help you identify when you're fertile and when you're not, so that you can avoid pregnancy, achieve pregnancy, or even understand yourself better, or your reproductive and health, your reproductive and overall health better. Okay, so have fun, and remember, today you're going to SOFT before and after you poo and pee. Okay, we'll see you back here tonight.